We'll start with the basics, the handset, the keypad, the speaker, and the voicemail message waiting indicator. The lines view is your phone's default display. This view shows your phone lines along with their corresponding buttons as well as your speed dial favorites. The home view is displayed by pressing the home key. From here, you can initiate new calls and access your messages, directories, do not disturb features, call forwarding, as well as the phone's settings and applications. Finally, there are the feature keys. The ones you'll use most often are the home key, the headset key, the speakerphone key, the mute key, the transfer button, the voicemail button, and the hold button. To place a call, dial the number, then pick up the handset or press the speakerphone or headset key. To answer a call, pick up the handset. You may also press the speakerphone or headset feature key to answer an incoming call. To answer an incoming call when you're already on an active call, press the answer soft key. Your first call will automatically be placed on hold. To retrieve your first call, Use the navigation buttons to highlight the call and press the Resume soft key. To put a call on hold, press the Hold button or the Hold soft key. To resume the call, press the Resume soft key. If you have more than one call on hold, using the navigation arrows, select the call with which you wish to reconnect and press the Resume soft key. There are two types of transferring, blind, which is the default on the phone, and consultative. To conduct a blind transfer while on your call, press the transfer key or the transfer soft key. Enter your extension or full 10-digit number and press send. For the consultative transfer, press the transfer key or the transfer soft key, then press consult on your bottom soft keys. Then enter your extension or full 10-digit number and press the send key. This will dial out to the transferring party and allow you to announce the caller before sending. Once the person is ready to take the call, press transfer again. A direct to voicemail transfer is performed when you wish to transfer a call directly to another user's voicemail. To do this, while on an active call, press the transfer button. Next, enter pound followed by the extension number you wish to transfer to on the keypad. To initiate a three-way conference call while on an active call, press the More soft key. Then, press the Conference soft key. The first call is then held. Dial the second number by entering your extension or full 10-digit number. When the second party answers, press the More soft key. Then, press the Conference soft key again to connect the calls. By default, Calls that are not answered will go to voicemail. To forward calls to a destination other than voicemail, select your Home button and then select Forward. Next, select the type of forwarding option that you would like to enable, including Call Forwarding Always, which will forward all incoming calls to the Forward To destination. Call Forwarding No Answer, which will only forward calls if you do not answer. Call forwarding busy, which will forward calls when the do not disturb feature is enabled or if your line is busy. Select the type of call forwarding you wish to enable. Enter the phone number to forward calls to in the contact field, then select enable. You will see the forwarding indicator next to your extension line appearance in the lines view. Note, when configuring call forwarding no answer, you must also select the number of rings the caller will hear before forwarding. To configure, select Forward, then Call Forwarding No Answer. Enter the number to forward calls to in the Contact field. Then select the Number of Rings field and enter the desired number of rings. Select Enable. To disable call forwarding, 
select the forwarding service to Disable, then select Disable. To park a call while on an active call, press one of the available parking buttons on your screen. The indicator light will change to indicate there is a caller on hold. Parked calls can be retrieved from any phone within the office. To retrieve a parked call, press the Park button that is for the parked call you wish to retrieve. The indicator light will turn green to indicate there is a call parked on that park orbit. You can view your recent call history and place calls from your call history logs. An alternative method to accessing call history is from the Home View. Pressing the Call Log button will automatically open your recent call history. From the Home View, use the navigation arrows to select the Directories icon. Then, select Recent Calls. Your call history is displayed. You can also use your navigation arrows to quickly access your missed, placed, and received calls, as well as your favorites. To access your missed calls, press the down arrow. To access your placed calls, press the right arrow. To access your received calls, press the left arrow. And for your favorites list, press the up arrow. Please note, you'll need to be on the main screen when using your navigation arrows to use these shortcuts. To dial a number, find the desired number, then press the dial soft key. From the home view, use the navigation arrows to select directories, then select contact directory. Next, select add. Using the keypad, enter the contact's first name, last name, and phone number. When finished, press save to save the contact. To create a new contact from the call history list, from the home view, Use the navigation arrows to select the directories icon. Then, select Recent Calls. Find the caller you wish to add. Then, tap the Info soft key. Tap Save to add the caller to your directory. To edit the contact's information, use the navigation arrows to select the field you wish to edit. Enter the information and tap Save to save your changes. To set up your voicemail for the first time, press the voicemail button. You'll then be prompted to set up your voicemail PIN, record your name, and then record your no-answer greeting. After you've completed those steps, you are ready to use your voicemail. A red message waiting indicator light notifies you when you have a new voicemail message. To check your voicemail, press the voicemail button. Enter your voicemail passcode followed by the pound key. If you forget your voicemail passcode, please contact your system administrator to have it reset. Note, to retrieve your voicemail from outside of the office, simply call your direct dial number. When your voicemail greeting kicks in, interrupt it by hitting star. Then you'll be prompted to enter in your voicemail password, followed by the pound sign. 